as we finish the bedroom the landing so that's the loft hatch what I want to do is put in a bookshelf here the first mission really is to uh, decide where this lot's gonna go most of it is rubbish but um, yeah stand by <laughs> so far you probably have seen how bad the floorboards are a bit of a mess really and then this piece of wood that was for the heating pipes so the heating pipes came out of the bathroom along that pelmet thing and they were boxed in then was behind some hardboard so this was all part of a 1960s um, upgrade I'll use that term quite loosely Anyway, that's what that is. That's another future project. But for now, we're back on the bookcase. So, next job is to we'll have to take off all of the anaglyptus stuff off. So, steam that off. Um, I'm probably going to do steam off the wood chip off the ceiling as well, um, which isn't pleasant, but it's got to be done. And then get the coving off. to give you a progress shot uh, of the landing um, this could be difficult to try and show you really such a confined space hopefully the light will make that a little bit easier so I've just had to move the doors from over that way and we did a load of wallpaper stripping yesterday I've done a load of wallpaper stripping on this side get the wood chip off give it a good old sand and fill and the ceiling will be painted as well. So I'm kind of hoping that all of this landing can be painted. It gives you a bit of an idea of, I'll just stand here, look. And so the bookshelf will be in there. Back on the landing project. Now I've got the bedroom done. I've got straight fully on this, so it's plasterboard in. So where the old loft hatch was, plasterboard in those little slots and gaps out. So I've got to do this side. Update. So we've got the oak surrounding. I'll give you a closer look. It's probably not good actually getting up close because you're still with mistakes. But um, that's English oak. So I have done the patching up at the back. I've done a bit of filling. I'm just getting ready for sanding this wall. I want to be able to sand the ceiling if I can. Sand and paint the ceiling. Not today, but that's the goal. Something like that. That's the end board, and then there'll be shelves going across like that. Then well, I'm trying to keep it a bit more rusticy scaffold board look. I don't want finished timber. So the only thing I have to consider 
is about the highest I can get the shelves is about where the top of the ladder is because they're eight inch boards and when the door comes down and hinges it means that I don't want the door pinching the, the shelves so I shall make it so the last shelf is just clear of the um, loft hatch. We are going to have a quick bash at painting the landing ceiling. Um, we'll give it one coat and then if need be we may have to go around and do some extra bit of filling. Uh, it's certainly not about getting perfection. Uh, this house has been so bodged over the years I'm just trying to make a, a bit of a better job of a bad job. ceiling painted so um, just done that bit there so you can see a tide mark there look that's where it's still a bit wet but two coats of Dulux seems okay it's not the best paint in the world but it's not a bad job really today I want to try and get this wall painted so I got some paint yesterday Got to move this junk out of the way and then have a blast at painting this wall. I've got some paint from Masses yesterday, which is crown paint. I don't tend to use crown paint, but it had the colour I wanted. So, see how this one goes. That's a pretty good end result. That's crown paints that is. I'm quite impressed with that. It's actually gone on pretty good in one coat. It might need another one, but it's difficult to tell with it being still a bit damp. I got a little bit carried away yesterday with the floorboards and didn't do any filming. So um, these floorboards were in a shocking state, really. Let me show you. And please don't criticize my workmanship. These, these floorboards, this is where the central heating pipes come in. So it ran across there, across the wall, down underneath here and was chopped all out. So if I show you that, that's this is what they'd put back in. I mean, it's like, anyhow. You can see these are the chop outs in the joists. And I've done my very best to just put those back in and I put glue and sawdust in just to provide because um, on a joist, if you cut out the top, what you end up is the joist weakens and it can do that business. Now, there's no evidence of any of that happening. And just underneath here is, is a um, the party wall for downstairs. So it's supported to a large extent on brick. I machined up some um, floorboard material. So this is Leyland Eye. And I put a new piece in there. So I think we've got some uh, problems underneath this floorboard here. You've got to see this. This 
this is our good previous dwellers here. Look at it. Look at that. And what's that about? How could that be right? And we've got spaghetti going on down here, look. And look what they've done here, look. Just, there's a great big nail sticking up there. I mean, good grief, man. Yeah, sticking up. Right. So, currently floorboarding. Nice long one, it's not an old one, but you can just temporarily put that in there. 